Hello everyone, hope you like my ASL introduction to my channel. Uh, that was inspired by my book that I'm reviewing today called True Biz by Sarah Novick. And I give this book a 5 out of 5. Before I start my full review, I would like to give a booktuber shout out to Novel Opinions. I'll link her channel down below. I really like her uh, booktube channel because she does a mix of book reviews, uh, booktuber tags, and she also does a bunch of like vlog style of different things around her city, which I believe is Boston. So if you want to check out a new booktube channel, I'll link Novel Opinions down below. And as always, before I go into review, I would appreciate if you like what you see to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments because you read True Biz or have any recommendations for me, please comment down below. A bit about the author, Sarah Novick. She is deaf, however, she wasn't born deaf. She lost her hearing, she believed, around the age of 12 when she started losing her hearing and, and failing school tests. Uh, she is a deaf activist and she has a Master of Fine Arts in Fiction and Literary Translation from Columbia University. She currently resides in Philadelphia and she is an instructor of deaf studies and creative writing as well. True Biz isn't her debut novel. She also has two other works she's written. The first one is Girl at War, which is a fictional story about a civil war breaking out in Yugoslavia. Her second book is America is Immigrants and is actually an illustrated novel or graphic novel where it has different immigrants from various different countries in America. And I've read that that uh, graphic novel is really beautiful because it shows how diverse and cultural America is. True Biz was published this year in 2022 and the genre I would put it in is fiction clearly and to specify a bit more I would say it is coming of age as we follow the main characters and their uh, experience being deaf and being in high school. The book has three main characters that kind of intermingle and intertwine throughout the whole novel. The first character is Charlie, who is in high school, and she has been going to a mainstream high school her whole life, and she also has the cochlear implant. She is deaf, and because of her cochlear implant, which her mom uh, pushed for her, she never learned to sign, and her parents never gave her, her the opportunity to sign. So then she now has to attend to River Valley School, which is a fully deaf school where students also live on campus and here she is paired with Austin who is fully deaf and he actually comes from generations of deaf children kind of like a local I guess local legend or local famous family for preserving that culture and then Austin and Charlie also intermingle with uh, February who is the headmistress and she is of hearing but she is the child of two deaf parents or referred to CODA which is children of deaf adults. We meet the three characters and we first meet them because the book starts with that Charlie and Austin are missing from campus and also Austin's roommate Elliot. So the story starts with February as a headmistress being really stressed out and trying to figure out why these kids are missing. So that's a bit about how the story is set up and how it progresses is I feel like the plot is not really linear and kind of goes all over the place but I find that's really beautiful and it isn't like stressful to have three main characters because we see different aspects of their life from leading up to this incident to see how these three people who deal with deafness very differently and how they navigate the world. So I really enjoyed that. And also like throughout the book, there's a huge cast of characters, people who are of hearing, people who are completely deaf, people who can sign really well, people who can't sign well. And also uh, the book also touches on what it means to be black and also deaf as well, which is something that I've never really thought about because like, I was very ignorant in thinking that uh, all deaf people are the same. So the book is really good about breaking all these presumptions that I've had about the deaf community, but also things I never thought about uh, what it means to be deaf. So the first common theme I learned, uh, or lessons learned from this book, is definitely that being deaf is not a disability and that it's really a language in itself. And you don't have to be deaf to learn ASL, like anyone could learn it. And it would actually be such a gift to learn it because if you're ever in a situation where someone was struggling and could own ASL and you could translate, that would be an awesome thing that you could do for someone else. And there are also so many resources to learn ASL right now. 
uh, other common theme I noticed because you know this is a coming of age story is that you see a lot of different relationships between the parents and their kids and how they deal with deafness in their family. Some parents embrace it right at the get-go and do ASL and try to integrate it. Uh, some parents will try to have a cochlear implant right away to ha to help the kids or in their perspective to be like a regular child. But we learn in the book that it also becomes actually a handicap to get a cochlear implant because the technology isn't fully there yet. So it actually hinders them and are kind of in this limbo between the deaf community and the mainstream community. So things I didn't like about this book, because I gave it a, I gave it a 5 out of 5, it was really hard to find things I didn't like. I would say the only thing that I didn't really like was because it is a coming of age teenage story, there was a bit of teenage drama and teenage angst that I didn't really get. But you know, I am an adult now in my 30s and I'm pretty sure if I read this when I was younger, I wouldn't feel that way. So that would be the only one thing I didn't like about this book. Things that I really enjoy about this book is it really opened my eyes on the deaf community and all the different things that people struggle with within that community and it also made me more mindful on how I can interact with the deaf community if that opportunity ever comes across. Uh, the second thing I really liked about the book is that at the end of every chapter, uh, there actually are diagrams and explanations learning more about the ASL community. So I really enjoyed that. So for example here, you'll see actual lots of visuals where it shows you different ways to sign. And that's almost at every chapter, of every at the end of every chapter. And I really enjoyed that because it's like a fictional book, but also like a Wikipedia page for me to learn as well. On Goodreads, this book, True Biz by Sarah Novick, got an average of 4.18 out of 5, which as you guys know, I always say anything above 4 on Goodreads is going to be probably a guaranteed good read or at least enjoyable. Uh, I do have to have a caveat that, you know, I am a strong believer that this is a very recent and hype up book and really trendy, so the ratings could be skewed, but now that I have read this book itself, I think it really lives up to the hype, especially because I don't have a lot of exposure to the deaf community. So I do think this Goodreads rating is very accurate. Some low rating reviews on Goodreads where people felt it didn't live up to their expectations. It is a Reese Swift Spoon book club of April 2022. So some people's bad reviews where they felt it was more of a young adult's novel, it was a bit too teenagey for them, wasn't really their cup of tea. And other people felt that the ending or the story just ended really quickly and they could have been fleshed out a bit more. That I can see where that person's coming from, but I felt like this book was more about the experiences and not so much the ending. So I felt like that's maybe not totally accurate. There were a lot of 5 out of 5 reviews and like I said before, people really enjoy it because it's eye-opening towards the deaf community and not just that, but it's very multifaceted, talking about teenage parent relationships, talking about teenage teenage relationships and a lot of struggles that even though all the characters were in the deaf community, that's someone of the hearing community we can relate to as a teenager. So I can see why this book has gotten lots and lots of raving reviews. Reasons why I think you should read this book is actually surprisingly, if you love John Green books, I believe this book will be great for you, especially if you're an adult. Um, the protagonist, especially Austin and Charlie, reminded me a lot of the romance in John Green books, but I do feel that True Biz, the characters were more developed and also the narratives and plots were more fleshed out. So if you're a fan of John Green books, I don't doubt that you will enjoy True Biz as well. Now I will share how this book made me feel because as always, if you ask me in a week, in a month, a year from now, what this book was about, I probably won't remember exactly all the details, but I remember how a book will make me feel. Uh, for this book specifically, True Biz, I think I remember, I will remember what the book was about just because it's about the deaf community and it's the first book I've ever read that talks about the deaf community. So this book, after I finished it, it made me feel very ignorant because, you know, I don't really, with all the different characters and how they relate to being deaf, either being partial hearing, a full deaf, having hearing impairments, just I didn't realize how complex the, all their situations could be. So this book made me feel very ignorant and it also made me very motivated to learn at least simple ASL or at least just the alphabet just so I could communicate or interpret with someone if I need to in the future. That is my book review for True Biz by Sarah Novick. If you read this book, bu uh, this book, I'd love to hear what you thought on the comments down below. And if you want to join me next time, I just started a Woman Is No Man 
which is a debut no novel by E. Taft Rum. And it is a fictional novel about a woman from Palestine and her experience moving to New York and being a woman in that culture. Thanks for watching my review for True Beers Till the End, and I will 